Right, so with the Delta uh, main body of the combine pretty much finished, moving on to the header. Um, as you can see, I've started stripping off, uh, I've took off the center power flow belt, which is a flipping great belt. And this came out of the inside of it inside the belt so that's the back roller the driven one and the front well that's driven as well now um uh it's got the belt let's just show that so it used to be on the old smaller power flow tables the back roller was driven and that was it but now the back roller is driven but it's got this cog here which runs this chain on the belt which is connected to the belt and is runs on the front so the front is power so both rollers are powered now um the problem we've got with the header here is this has basically lived outside for two years um i'm not sure it did any work last year it might have done a tiny bit um but it's basically lived outside and what's happened is these chains have got so rotten and corroded they're not really turning properly um so i've got all new chains for it but because they're bolted to the belt of course they're they're liable i think to damage that belt so uh, i've got all new chains they 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 sold or provided me chains as part of the deal for the combine but you can see oh perhaps i can't get that out i think that's got to be lifted to get out that comes now there we are oh. i think that'll come out oh. well anyway that's as stiff as a board that they've provided these little chains as well so I've took the first one out. I'm not sure I've done it the best way. Um, I'll probably, because it doesn't, I'm really, it, this isn't in the instruction book how to strip this off. But um, I think we'll find <clears throat> better ways of doing it as I as I take them out and go to put them back and more uh, it wasn't too bad that said and, and the back ones will lift easier because I can use my engine hoist to get them off it's just that the front one was so wide that that the angle um, of the strops lifting it were too much I, I was unhappy with it um, they were pulling as much as lifting whereas this one because it's a lot narrower the end two uh, it will be more of a lift but anyway, I'll, um, so I wanted to get it off just so I can check the bearings on it. Um, there's not a lot to it. And I thought this was going to be hellishly heavy, but that would appear to be um, hollow. It's not too heavy at all. Whereas um, uh, the much, much smaller ones of those on my old power flow table, they were really heavy, these front rollers. In fact, I'd say... Well, what is it? A third of that, maybe, is as heavy as the old one. Sorry, the old one, which would represent about a third of that width, was as heavy as this one here. So we definitely need to change all these chains. That's one thing. This um, knife looks knackered. So... I think a new knife or bolt on all new sections, um, make a new knife. I think we'll do that. I don't know about these fingers. We'll look into that. Other things, they, the plastic things there don't look too bad, actually. They're probably all right. I mean, it wants using and getting a nice shine up is what it really wants. That'll, that'll um, help it. I know it needs adjusting 
this this big auger is not really right on its height and the cutoffs at the back where they're adjusted. Um, but that's just adjustment. And then I think these chains, these chains, I mean they've been well oiled. I will take them off and check them, but they've been, although they've been out, they've sort of been under cover. So they're probably okay. Although well, someone has adjusted this too. Jesus, that's tight. That needs looking at. That one's all right. Now that one is ridiculous. Um, and then uh, just change your oil in the um, um, gearbox for the knife drive. Uh, but yeah, I, I, it's not a massive job, I don't think, um, to get this header sorted uh, and then we're more or less ready for harvest in six weeks. So I'll carry on and put these new chains on the um, power flow belt. All right, so all the belts have been done now. Um, there was a couple of bearings on these front rollers that needed doing, uh, replacing. Um, that all went okay. I've adjusted the um, Superflow auger to the correct height. That was way over what it should have been. The knife's out. Uh, I was going to get a whole new knife. That's really expensive. Um, so if the bottom, I've got to have a look at that. If the uh, flat bit's okay, I'm just going to bolt on new knife sections, which is 400 quid cheaper. It seems crazy. Uh, the old combine, it was sort of cheaper to buy a whole knife than buy the sections and rivet them on, but this, obviously not. Um, then, oh, these have got to be replaced. I've got new ones of these. Uh, sensing fingers. Now, I've looked into this. This actually doesn't have oil in it. It's full of grease, and since the grease hasn't come out, it doesn't say anything about servicing it. I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, there's a there's an annoying thing and an odd thing here. So the annoying thing is, oh, we probably can't see this actually, but uh, this here, the bearing here, has got a grease nipple with a tube. The tube's broken. So that's all got to come off, which isn't a tricky job. But I had to take this, uh, um, uh, there's like big springs um, discs. Here they are. There. They're on there and you compress them down and this is a slip clutch for the auger. So straightforward. Uh, you tighten it using, uh, there's a big nut on here. Uh, that You can see it's a castle nut. There's where the pin goes. Um, and... Um, compress them to a distance and uh, and uh, hunky dory. That should come off quite straightforwardly to sort that pipe off. However, I hadn't really, well, I noticed it, but hadn't really took much notice of it. So this thing goes over and presses on the springs. And the castellated nut is this. Now, what on earth has happened to that nut? It, well, obviously it's gone. And, and I got it off using Stilson's. Um, and it's just a three. <sighs> obviously something has been on there wearing that away. But I can't quite work out what it could have been. Because if the chain had come off of here and been rubbing on there, well... Surely nothing would have worked. Uh, and to wear off this, like this, to that degree, um, is odd. And I honestly cannot think what could have caused that nut to end up looking like that. That's just weird. 
Uh, anyone got any ideas? Put something in the comments because I can't see it myself. I just cannot see how that's done that. Um, and still be running. So, odd. Very odd. Uh, this this spacer is fine. That ha obviously it's had some. Uh, it's took the uh, whatever that is galvanising off or something, so that it's gone rusty. But this nut is completely worn away. Um, just really odd. Really odd. Um, so I think that's do them bits and. Oh, that said, this catch here, um, there is another catch here, and, and that's actually broken, so I've got to make a new thing for that and weld it on. I, I guess something could have hit, I mean, obviously it's not going to do it, but that could have been broken at the same time something happened to the nut, maybe? I don't know. Just really strange. Um, anyhow, so yeah, someone's going to have fun bolting all that up. Sure, blimey. Um, but anyway, the, uh, the main thing is the belts and the chains are all done and, uh, uh, all back. So we're looking, looking good.